So the purpose of baseline testing in the context of athletes, um, the purpose of baseline testing is not to diagnose concussion, uh, except for a couple situations. If you feel the athlete is not being truthful about their symptoms, and you saw them get absolutely demolished and they come in and you're like, headache, nausea, foggy, dizzy, trouble concentrating, neck pain, and they're like, nope, 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 nope. Uh, you're like, okay, cool, we're gonna test you. Uh, prove it, <laughs> prove that you feel okay. Um, and if there's a question about the injury, oftentimes uh, we have video review for concussion where we'll, we'll watch the videos. Um, and a lot of times it's the gnarly hits that the athlete pops up just fine. And it's these weird little quick hits where you're like, what happened? And they're concussed and they're out for the next two or three weeks. Um, so if there's a question about the injury or there's kind of like some question about if this athlete's actually telling you the truth or not, that's when you'll do the baseline testing. But otherwise, the diagnosis of athletes is really simple. There's this mechanism of injury that you saw, and there were symptoms. So you suspect a TBI, and you, and you get them out. So when in doubt, sit out. That PCSS and the SCAT-5, if they have even one symptom, and even if it's you know one symptom, one severity, you're pulling them out. You know, when in doubt, sit them out. Uh, there's research that body temperature actually correlates with like glutamate excitotoxicity. So the sooner you can cool them down, uh, theoretically, the sooner you can minimize some of that excitotoxicity. It is used for the return to play decision. So baseline testing is used for return to play decision because we know that symptom recovery doesn't equal the metabolic or clinical recovery. So we're using the baseline test to really feel confident in ourselves, so the parents, the coaches, the teammates, uh, like everyone feels confident that this person is performing like themselves. Common baseline batteries uh, will include, like this is where you'll see a lot of the, a lot of the high schools, 70% of US high schools, but a lot of the, the school programs and uh, club programs out here in the valley, they'll, kids will do baseline testing in the preseason and they'll get a medical history, they'll get a concussion history, they'll run them through a SCAT-5 and they'll do uh, an impact. Uh, if they're good, they'll do the SCAT-5 and the impact. And so it's a computerized neurocognitive test. This is, this is baseline testing for the most part what it looks like. Problems with that. The SCAT-5, which includes the PCSS, the standardized assessment of concussion, the balance error scoring system, those will normalize within a week of the injury whether you feel good or not. Uh, the impact normalizes within a week of injury. The impact, if you don't have a baseline, normative values misclassify 50% of people and it's not validated in folks under 13.